On Friday, September 9th, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Qinghai, while still in her meditation retreat for the world, called Supreme Master Television team members to ask about their welfare as well as to express her sadness following Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's passing. Master also read a story from a treasury of Jewish folklore compiled by Wing Er, which introduced precious moral lessons. Furthermore, Master shared her heartfelt wishes and greetings to all on the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival. Hello, Master. Hello, Master. How are you, Master? Hello. I'm okay. How are you? We are good, Master. You're good. Yes. Yes, yes Master. Wonderful. I'm still dragging my uh, luggage. Oh. 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 Living in the suitcase. Wow. <laughs> wow. But I'm glad. To talk to you nowadays, we are very lucky. Yeah, don't you think? Yes, yes, yes we're lucky. Luckier than many kings in the past. Yes, 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 indeed. Many kings in the past had to rely on the legs of the eunuchs in order to run around and spread his news. I just hold up a rectangular <laughs> device. Yeah, and then. I can just talk to you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> Much easier. Just like that. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Wonderful. That's wonderful, no? Yes, 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 it is. Indeed. And I hear you very clearly. Oh. <laughs> uh, anything special happen with you guys? Or is all okay? All okay for us, master. All okay, yes. thank you. It's good to hear master's voice. Yes, yes. After such a long time. I'm glad to hear you also. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Her Majesty the Queen of England left the physical world, and although I knew that she went to a higher heaven, it's better than this world for her. Oh. And she's happy, but I was still very sad somehow. All oh, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I thought today I would try to find a way to contact you guys and to read you a story or something. You know, keep myself busy. When you are sad, you should keep yourself busy, and you don't feel too sad. Thank you, master. Thank, Thank you, master. master. Don't sink into the sadness. Yeah. Yeah. Understand, master. Understand, master. Why are you sad, Why? master? Even though I know she's gone to heaven, because all her life she didn't do anything wrong. She did her duty conscientiously, diligently, and as well as she could. And even before she died. She was so weak already, you know, oh. and still received the new Prime Minister of England. Yes, oh, yes Master, that's right. She really worked until the last days of her life. Yes, yes. And for that, everybody should have much respect and appreciation for Her Majesty. I do, myself, I do. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. The special remembrance of the 70-year reign of a world leader. Tonight, the most spectacular image, a double rainbow over Buckingham Palace that appeared just moments before the royal family announced her passing as crowds gathered to say goodbye. The rainbow to some, a sign, its long arc a reminder of her long reign and her lasting legacy. Not just as monarch, but as mother and grandmother, a wife of 73 years, a lover of her corgis and horses, Her greatest devotion was to the service of the Commonwealth, even in her final days, working to welcome the new Prime Minister, frail but smiling broadly. In her long life, she no doubt saw her fair share of tumult and triumph, but she will always be remembered for her strength on the world stage, as iconic and stable as Buckingham Palace itself. Also, of late, she has signed a new law to protect the animal people. Thus, the animal people now are counted by UK's law as sentient beings. Oh, yes, oh, that's yes. right. Yeah, sentient beings deserve more respect, protection, and kind treatment. Sentient beings are just like us. Human beings, we are also sentient beings. We have feelings, you see. We have feelings, we have emotions, we have thinking, we have smartness, intelligence. And we have kindness toward each other and toward the animal. People, these are talk about sentient beings. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Sentient means can feel and react. 
Therefore, she earned merit to go to uh, high heaven, and I'm very glad. But somehow I feel like her death is too sudden, even though she's been ill for some time now. Still, I feel it's too sudden, just like when Princess Diana died, it was too sudden. Right, yes. Right. I think everyone feels like she will live forever, like an eternal monarch. <laughs> yes. Because she yeah. reigned for a long, long time, that's why. Yes, yes, Master. And some people, when you know them for a long time, even though not personally, you feel like they will live forever. You can't imagine they die. Yes, yes, yes Master. That's right. But this is C'est la vie. Our world is like that. Mm -hmm. And I was so sad because everything in this world is somehow... Uh, like you will die and everything will not last. Yes, yes, that's yes, right. And I also feel sad because how come good people die? Mm. Yes, true. Yes, it's true. And so called bad people are still alive and well. Many, some bad people were still alive and well. Some good people are just gone like that. Yes. Yes, Master. The Queen Mother, before she lived, was over 100 mm -hmm. years. So Queen Elizabeth, I expected that she would live as long as that. But I think because her husband, Prince Philip, died, and that took some of her being away. Yes, yes, yes Master. 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 Understand. They've been together all their lives since young already, and suddenly he was gone like that. She probably felt that half of her was gone too, and she just probably got weaker and weaker in uh, immunity, emotionally, psychologically, as well as physically. Thus, she probably died sooner than she would have if uh, Prince Philip was still alive. And yes, that's, 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 that's what I was thinking. I was feeling sad because this world, it seems like everything makes me sad. Oh. Mm -hmm. The people suffer everywhere with war, with famine, with pandemics, with Poverty, with starvation, children, elderly and women alike, men also, just succumb to the situation of the world and the animal people suffer no end like that. You know, every day when I see the clips of the suffering, I, I feel like my heart would not be able to bear it. Yeah. So this world, everything makes me sad. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. Indeed. Very little happiness. Very little happiness. So I'm glad to tell you that Queen Elizabeth has gone to a higher heaven and she'll be peaceful and happy. Yeah. Oh, that's good, good for her. So thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Master. Yes. Mostly because she did her duty wholeheartedly. And at the end, she signed this animal sentence bill. Legislation will also be brought forward to ensure the United Kingdom has and promotes the highest standards of animal welfare. See, that would earn her a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of merit. Oh, 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 yes. These two things drew her up to heaven, and I'm so happy. Even though I'm sad that she's gone somehow. It's just our emotions. As humans, when somebody's gone, you feel like there's some empty space. Yes, 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 yes that's right. Like when Princess Diana died, oh, I feel so, so sad, so sad. I feel like the world became a little darker somehow. Mm -hmm. At that time, but we have King Charles III now. Maybe he's going to continue in the footsteps of his mother, and England will still continue to be stable and well. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. It is my most sorrowful duty to announce to you the death of my beloved mother, the Queen. I know how deeply you, the entire nation, and I think I may say the whole world, sympathize with me in the irreparable loss we've all suffered. It is the greatest consolation to me to know of the sympathy expressed by so many. My mother gave an example of lifelong love and of selfless service. My mother's reign was unequaled in its duration, its dedication, and its devotion. Even as we grieve, we give thanks for this most faithful life. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties 
and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty, which have now passed to me. I think countries with monarchies somehow seem to be more stable and peaceful, and people are happier than countries with so-called democracy. Yeah. Yes, master. Mm, yes, master. Or even worse, without democracy. <laughs> ah, talking about that, you know that England has a new prime minister. Uh, yes, yes, master. Yes, yes. And Boris Johnson is out. Yes. Due to what? Remember? Yeah, some party. <laughs> what kind of party? Well, they're celebrating his birthday. Uh huh. Yeah. Poor thing, huh? Poor man. Yeah. Yes, mm. master. Hmm. Now you know. I'm so clever. I don't celebrate my birthday anymore since decades. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, otherwise I might be kicked out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, the reason was because I felt the world had so much suffering, so much misery that I don't care to celebrate my birthday at all. I don't even remember. Mm-hmm. In this case, maybe I stay young for a long time, because eh? I don't <laughs> remember how old I am. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that the new king is the new prime minister will do something good for England as well as the world. Also, I hope the king will rise with compassion and consideration for all other sentient beings and follow up with the bill that the late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II signed into law, meaning that all the animal people are sentient beings and will be treated as such. We congratulate you, the new king, King Charles III, and the new Prime Minister of England as well, Madam Prime Minister Liz Truss. Please pray to God that you will not be trapped, not trapped in the inflated ego, because the power tends to do that, to inflate people's ego and then make them do things with arrogance and selfishness. Please pray so that you don't fall into that trap so that you can serve your country and help the world to be a better place. May heaven be with you. Amen. Amen. Let's hope the new king and the new prime minister will truly, sincerely help to bring this world into a better place by being benevolent, kind, and ruling according to God's will. Yes, Yes, Master. Master. I hope, we hope that they consider that their work is the work of a servant of God and do more contemplation inward so that they will know what God's will is and do it accordingly. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept, and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service I renew to you all today. I shall strive to follow the inspiring example I have been set in upholding constitutional government and to seek the peace, harmony and prosperity of the peoples of these islands and of the Commonwealth realms and territories throughout the world. Let's hope they will not be making more trouble for England or the world by being selfish, inconsiderate, and incompassionate, just because of an easy win, easy life for them up to date. Meaning not because of their easy win or an easy life, that they should be selfish, inconsiderate, and uncompassionate, because that will not help our world. It will make England and the world become worse and worse. May you help us, dear Lord, May you bless these two new leaders to go on the righteous way as per your will and grace. Amen. 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 Many people are sad because the queen died, so maybe I just read you guys the story and maybe they can also listen to dissipate their sadness a little. Yeah? Yes, thank you, Master. Thank Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. 
Yeah, it's a very simple story, but you can think about it and feel like this world is like that. Everything we do has to be correct. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And we have to be content with what we have and not steal things from other people or from neighbors. Even the leader of one country should not go and make war and steal lands from other countries because there will be the retribution sooner or later. Right, yes. yes. There will be. And even if you don't see it in this lifetime, you will see it in hell or in this next life also, after hell. You will be born into such a situation, such a planet, such a world that you will be chased, you will be killed, you will be wounded, you will be maimed, just like the way you cause it to happen to other innocent people, either from your country or from the neighboring country, because it is like that. If you plant an apple tree, you will have apples. If you plant an orange tree, you will have an orange. Yes, Master. Yes, right, Master. Right. The law in this physical world is exact, very scientifically and practically exact. And if the sin is too big, then it will carry on until the next life or first through purification in hell. And then you will be reborn as a victim the way you cause other people or other animal people, other beings to be the victim when you were alive, uh, provoking neighbors to make war or making a war yourself. Yeah, oh, that's the exactly. You see, the law in the universe is that you are entitled to what you're worth. So whatever you are given is yours. You should not be envious or greedy of other people's properties or whatever is not yours. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Because if you take them, it's not legal. Just like if you steal things in the world, it's also illegal and the law will catch you and will punish you accordingly. Yeah, oh, that's yes. right. That's right. Similarly, in the whole universe, there's also law. If you take what's not given, then you will be punished also according to the seriousness of it, hmm. then you will get the, the punishment sooner or later. Sometimes this is very soon. It's just that you don't realize it. Like you will get sick or seriously ill. You will suffer bodily, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically, uh, etc. But you will not know that is the result of your bad deeds. Like whatever bad deeds it could be. Hmm. Uh, stealing things is just one of those things. And making war or coercing people to give up their property for you because you're stronger, you're bullying them. This is a very bad thing. Hmm. And you might die sooner than you're allotted years for your life. Wow. So everyone should consider this. Nothing is worth your effort to possess it when it's not yours. Whatever is yours is yours. It will be given to you whether you want it or not. Yeah, that's right. Whatever is not yours, even if you want it, you should not take it because the consequence is very great for you. Mm -hmm. That's why in all the religious orders and doctrines, the first five precepts include those shall not steal. Mm -hmm. yes, master. Stealing has many ways, you know. So whatever clever way you scheme to take over somebody else's rightly owned possessions, that is all stealing. And it's against the law of the universe. And sooner or later, the consequence will be very, very bad for you. And not just in this lifetime, but it could be in this lifetime. Like you could be ill or you could be punished in different ways. If you are an ordinary person, then you'll be caught and you will be put in jail. Wow. But if you are so-called above the law because you're strong and you're a leader and you have some clever way to control, the power and nobody dares do anything to you, still, 
you will suffer the consequence. Oh. Like you be ill very suddenly, or you be gravely sick, and nobody even can find out what the cause is. Or even if they find out, they cannot cure you, or it will be prolonged, or you will die agonizingly or quickly before your time is up. Wow. So we should we should respect all the laws of the universe. And it's very simply put in many of the main religions, like in the five principles, like thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not take intoxicants, thou shalt not tell lies, thou shalt not uh, envy the neighbors, wives, for example, or steal the neighbor's wife, or try in a many way to seduce the neighbor's wife or husband, for example, like that. Yeah, yes, that's right. That's right. Just simply put, it could be extended or explained uh, in a much wider sense, just simply all the religion principles. That's enough for everyone to keep clean and to keep safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing or eating animal people, the first people have to kill for you, is also stealing. This is a grave thing because you steal their lives. Mm. So everyone should think about it. Keep the five simple precepts so that if you are reborn again as a human, you'll be happy, safe, healthy, and have everything you need. Yes. Yeah, similar to many stories in Buddhism, Buddha told many stories about karma eh? and the consequence of bad deeds and good deeds. Some good deeds also will manifest many lifetimes even. Yes, yes. Even just one kid to give one of the Buddhas just uh, some stone offering with heart. He will be also rewarded many lifetimes with richness. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Okay, my love. I will stop now before the telephone stops by itself again. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Understand. Talk to you next time and say hello to all of your friends, your colleagues, our team. Meanwhile, because I can't talk to all of them, they are in different places. By the way, I send my love to all of you. And may God protect you every day of your life as you contribute to happiness and the peace in this world as much as we can. Thank God, and may God bless you. I love you. Thank God. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You know, uh, in a little while, it will be mid-autumn festival. So, even though we are not together physically, but, uh, you know, I call you, and that also counts as a reunion. Yes master. yes, master. And I wish all of you, my team, my association members, and all the world, beautiful Mid-Autumn Moon Festival Day. Thank you, Thank you Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Tết Trung Thu, Bình An và Vui Vẻ. And we thank God for everything that we still have in our lives. And we wish that soon the world will become peaceful and beautiful, like the moon, all round, all perfect in the sky. Thank you, God. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye Master. Master. Bye, Master. Most Benevolent Master, thank you for once again granting us your timeless wisdom and loving presence. May our world become more and more worthy of compassionate and noble leaders, courageously guided by God's will for the good of their own nations. We are deeply touched by Master's continuous and gracious blessings for the planet and pray that all will soon embrace a fully vegan lifestyle as peace and kindness are established among all sentient beings. 
wishing cherished master a happy mid-autumn festival, a joyful heart, and the best of health in the caring protection of all magnificent heavens. This clip will be aired with more subtitles later today. To hear the fascinating Jewish story, kindly translated by Supreme Master Ching Hai, entitled "The Lonely Old Man Who Lost His Bean," please tune in for the full broadcast of this conference on between Master and Disciples on Sunday, September eighteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Also, for your reference. Please check out the previous related fly-in news or between master and disciples conferences, such as fly-in news. The UK must follow its laws and protect animal people as sentient beings. There are no excuses for invading a country. Only peacemakers can go to heaven. In the hour of heaven's judgment, wake up and be vegan now, etc. To view these and more related fly-in news and between master and disciples conferences, all free for download, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for "Rain with Compassion."